Hi guys, hope you're all doing well. In this video, I'll show you how to set up a Google sign-in for a React project using Firebase. So to get started, uh, I've got a basic project set up here with one sign-in page and a home page. When a user clicks this sign-in with Google uh, button, there should be a Google pop-up window that uh, allows us to select our Google account and then sign in. And then from there, it should uh, direct us to this home page if the user has successfully signed in. So it would be this home page here and then a sign out button. So pretty basic. So first things first, uh, let's set up a Google, I mean a Firebase project. So I'll head over to Firebase, create a new project. Let's call it Google sign in. Okay, and then I'll create my project. And then while that's still being created, I'll head over to NPM to install the Firebase package. So install the official package by Firebase and Google. Okay, so our project is set up and then we're still installing Firebase there. So if I head back to Firebase now, in my project, I'll head to authentication. And then I'll click get started. And then I'll enable Google sign in. And click save. Okay, so that's enabled. Now, our Firebase package, uh, it's still installing, but in the meantime, I'll add a file in my project. Or oh, let me first create a new folder, call it Firebase. And then in this folder, I'll create a new file where I'll have my Firebase config. Then if I scroll down the documentation here, the first thing I'll need is to import Firebase. Uh, in my case, I'll just be importing Firebase. Then I'll create a variable, call it Firebase config. And then the config information, I should get it in my project settings. If I scroll all the way down here, I'll click web. Mm. So I'll first create an app and then register it. And then I'll copy this section here. Or rather, let me copy this whole bit actually. Okay, so the Firebase here will be referring to this Firebase import here. And then after that, what I'll do is export Firebase. Okay. Okay, so the package is installed. Let's run our application again. Okay, so there we go. Now in my sign-in page, what I'll do is import Firebase, uh, be Firebase in ankle brackets, from my Firebase config. Firebase, okay. And then for my button, I'll add an on-click And I'll create a function called sign in with Firebase. So 
the first thing in this sign-in method, I'll need to create a provider. So let me say, let me create a variable called Google provider. And then to do that, I'll call Firebase dot auth dot Google auth provider. And this will have to be new. Okay. After that, we'll call Firebase again dot auth. This time the method dot sign in with pop-up. And then in our pop-up, we'll pass along Google provider. And then we call the then function. Okay, and then this will return a result of uh, which will be the user info if they've successfully signed in. So we'll console log that. Or we can get the error. And we'll console log that as well in the meantime. Okay, so what hap what's happening here is that we're creating a new provider using Google. So they're different providers, obviously. Uh, if you go back to uh, Firebase, you have multiple sign-in or authentication methods. You have email, Google, Facebook, Twitter, and so on. So in this case, we'll be using Google. And then you just click firebase.auth.signin would pop up, and then you pass along your uh, Google provider. So if we go ahead and try that, let's make sure we don't have any issues. Okay, cool. So if I go back to my application and then I click sign in with Google, as you can see, we have the Google pop-up that comes uh, up on the screen here. And then I'll just uh, open my console to see the result. Okay, so let me sign in with that account. So as you can see, if a user successfully signs in, you get all the details of that user along with their user details, user ID, if you need to uh, store that in like a, in your backend. So that, there's all the details. And then if you go back to Firebase, you should see the new user under uh, the users list and then the providers will be uh, Google in this case. So what we want to do now is that in our app.js where I have my route specified, I'm using, uh, uh, what is this, React Router for my routes. I want different routes for signed in users versus users that are not signed in. So to do this, what I'll do is create a state called is user signed in. And then let's say default will make it true. And then what's going to happen is if a user is signed in, then we return the home page. Right. If not, then we return the sign in page. So if they use our sign in, for example, I'll display all my other pages. So for example, maybe a dashboard, a profile page and so on. But then for users that are not signed in, I'll just have the sign in page and also like a forgot password, password reset and all those other pages. So. In here, I'll also import my Firebase. So I'll go ahead and say import. Uh, Firebase, this is from our Firebase config file that we created. Firebase, okay. And then I'll have a function, I'll call it firebase.auth and then dot on state changed and then in this method what i'll be doing is checking whether user is signed in or not if they signed in then i just change the state from uh, is signed in to false if they are signed in then we keep it true so we'll say if user 
and we'll say set is user signed in true just say return there else set user signed in to false okay so what should happen here is that if the user decides to yeah so if the user is signed in it will automatically send them to the uh, home page and then in my home page what i'll also do is import firebase from the same file and then here i just need the sign out functionality so on my button i'll create an on click event and this will be sign out And then I'll call Firebase dot auth dot sign out. And what should happen is when I do click sign out, uh, since we have a listener listener here for on state change, if the user is signed out, then it will just uh, set the user is signed in state to false. And then our route should change as well. So if I go back to my application, click sign out, then we back here at this page where we need to sign in again. And then you click that, and uh, then we have our Google pop-up. And there we go. Yeah, and that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching.